it's Merrin here from Melon and Merrin and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please just make sure that you do subscribe to my channel and if you press the link down below to subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to be received with notifications. I will be releasing videos every fortnight. Today I'm going to be looking at turning trash into treasure and turning just some ugly little tuna pots into something beautiful and learning a new technique as well. So we're going to be making some candlestick holders and learning the technique of marbling. It's super easy and the results are really beautiful. I've used this technique on a number of different surfaces and I'll be showing those at the end to see how you can actually make it into all sorts of lovely different treasure. So here we go. So obviously the first thing you're going to need to do is to clean your pots really really well and dry them very well. Now you can see here first of all that I am using a glue gun to put the two pots together. Now in all honesty, it's not the best glue to use. You can see I'm struggling a little bit there, but it actually doesn't stick the two pots together. I think it's just because there is not really any, um, the, the surface is too shiny, it's too smooth for it to really glue together. So in the end, I did end up re-gluing the pots with some just Loctite super glue. And the one I had was actually a glass glue Obviously any sort of super glue can work. Um, if you've got any E6000, that obviously will work really, really well as, um, as well. But don't use the hot glue because it really didn't stick them particularly well together. But you can just see here, I've got the second lot of pots. Um, and next step is to actually put a primer paint onto the pots, which I do um, next is probably the easiest way to do it um, once you've, you've glued them and it's really really tight that seal so you don't have to go too expensive for, for any of your paints I'm just using Wilco brand um, it's just a very plain primer. Um, just making sure that you do get into all the little nooks and crannies. It depends if you're using these exact pots or not, or different types, or plastic pots, or different sized ones. I like these because of the shape of them, because obviously when you put them together there is just that slight hourglass shape to them. So you can see here I'm just using some primer to do it. I did end up putting a coat of colour onto this between the primer and the marbling but my suggestion would be unless you want a particular look to it yeah because you can see there that, that pot's come undone that's when I decide I need to use different glue but I wouldn't use a color between unless you want a really particular look because I found that the marbling didn't stick particularly well together on it so these are my first ones that I did so you can see there with the marbling we just have a plain plastic bucket and just some water. I've made the water a little bit warmer just because it was a um, slightly cooler day. There's some people who say it makes a difference between the cold water and the warm water. I'm not particularly convinced. I haven't sort of seen a main difference. So it's more about comfort. It's a great way to use up any of your old spray paints that you've got not quite enough for a project in. But these were my first ones and so a couple of tips I would say is use way more spray paint than I did. Way, 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 like three or four times the spray paint. Don't be afraid to get in there and double dip, triple dip, quadruple dip. Get as much of the colour in there as you want. And definitely wear gloves. That was my definite other trick. I couldn't find my gloves so I just thought I'd just go for it. My trick is that you definitely need to use gloves and if you don't, and nail polish remover. Harsh as it is, gets it off nicely because soap and water and a scrubbing brush don't do the trick sadly. And you can see there my gold spray paint is really really old. I thought it would be a great way to use up the, the product and just keep adding layers and layers and layers in there. As you can see there is just way too much water actually showing through so when I dip that pot in and you can also see where I've put the first curler on it's not sticking as well so it would definitely be my tip that you don't use a colour between. Just use the primer, wait for it to dry, and then just use loads and loads of the spray paint there. And get in there and double dip and triple dip as well. 
obviously once you've finished I used two coats of sealer. So they're my first ones you can see, a little bit of that gold paint you can see has just come through there, fairly plain, but these are the ones that I have triple dipped. I've used exactly the same colours without the gold this time and you can just see that depth of colour so much more. And then all we're going to do is to put some candles in and all we have to do is just melt the bottom of the candles, let it drip a little bit so there's something for it to stick to. Uh, you'll find over time that the wax in the containers does sort of um, fill up that space and they just look a little bit more rustic, a little bit more used and they look really really great. I've been having them um, on my table for quite some time and I've used all the candles and it just sort of looks better and better as there's more wax in there. But I hope you've really enjoyed this video and that you really like the marbling and show me the things that you've tried with marbling. I've done some previous years to Christmas baubles that look really fantastic so that's another thing that you can do is dip the baubles in again making sure you wear gloves and they look fantastic too. I might even pop some photos of those in the comments but thank you very much for watching my video and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll talk to you next time. And you can see here that these are just the final of what they look like. Otherwise, that's all for Marin, and I hope to talk to you next time. Thank you. Bye.